Hey guys, Saturday was sobering today. So we had a couple things happening in the shop here. Uh, Mr. Bryce, we got his motor back from the machine shop. Uh, got it all cleaned up. Uh, the, uh, redid the, well, cross hatch and cylinders, washed everything up. Uh, and we found out that it had the wrong ring packs in it. So, they were a little too narrow in here and they were jiggling around and causing grief. So we got the new ones. We'll get around to installing that. Actually got one set on here now already, which fit way better than the old ones. The old ones are gone, so we can, well, actually they're not. We can show you the difference here, but uh, talk to Bryce for a second. Yeah, so I guess on our 64 Ford Surprise, um, now there is, and again, as I said before, when you, you buy something used, you buy a story, and then you find out the truth afterwards. Uh, there's a local engine works called Miller that uh, the previous person had said had done the engine work. I'm going to go with 100% uh, certainty that the only Miller that was involved in this rework was in a glass bottle and it sat on the side of the, uh, the shelf while they put this together. Um, we just plastic aged it. We had a, a tooth thou. So everything was perfect. There's some great work that was done on this engine, but it was put together by apparently with somebody who was just in a rush. Even something as simple as the caps on the bottom of the connecting rod. Um, well, we only have one of the eight that is actually matched up and then the rest are electro penciled. The rest went out of order. So you got rings that are the wrong size, the rear main seal wasn't installed correctly, we even had, so on, on a Ford 302 they've got uh, a, the, the same motor, a couple generations, so the thread size starts off as a 5 16 on the early ones and it goes to a 3 8 on the later, while the catch is, is your, your torque spec goes from 25 foot pounds to 45. Well, when we took this out the first time, just on a whim, we decided to test it. Well, they were, they'd been torqued to 45. When we went to connect... Some. 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 Because we, we would back off the nut. Yep. And then that's where we found out that we're... Or oh. we, use the, we use the old school torque wrench where you've got your... The analog. Your, your meter at the bottom and, and your uh, torque gauge going like this. That's how we knew that we were spinning them off somewhere at 35, somewhere at 30, somewhere at 25. So we didn't know... So these are new bolts, obviously, because we didn't know where the stretch was or if we were, they were over, well, over torque. So we're lucky we didn't win with a block at some point, winging this thing up to like six grand. So we're very happy we found all these problems mm -hmm. and have them all sorted out. So we just started reassembling, dropped the crank in, plastic gauge the bearings. We're at, we're at two thou, it's just, it's just perfect. And that's, uh, except I forgot the camshaft at the machine shop. <laughs> Got everything else here, but no cam. So we can't finish putting it together today. But we'll we'll get there. Did you uh, find a set of rings so you can show the difference? Uh, yes. Bit of difference was that this is over there. Though. It's gone. <laughs> so it's a bit. So aside from the fuzzies and the little bits, there's a diameter difference. It's yeah. measurable with. It's caliper. measurable with a caliper. These yep. are these are these are thinner than what these are. So that so. creates too much movement in the ring land. So you're going to have a premature wear and, or f and, and obviously failure because you're going to, this is going to stretch out or wear out, rub out. So. And as we found out, this led to a four stroke burning oil like a two stroke. <clears throat> well, it was also had to do with the, with the valves. Yep. Uh, the head work that was done on uh, prior to it getting redone because these are all brand new valves in here. Uh, the hardness on the valve, uh, seat on the valve stem itself was uh i guess the over the overground it so it started to have a mushrooming effect so we had to redo all the seats new valves new machining so that's all done and uh new valve stem seals to stop that uh little extra oil consumption that we don't want so yeah this will be uh this will be a really nice engine when we got her back together we're also updating to a, a four barrel yeah. Get rid of the old two barrel. So that's going to be happening once uh, once we get it all together. And then that guy's out again. Oh, this guy's still here. But so the reason we pulled the vet out is our buddy Rennie at um, Reborn Auto Detailing would like us to go and pick up a new project for him. 
This guy right here. Yeah, that that's the guy that uh, he's the guy that did the detailing on the vet. Just a just a pre-detail, just to make it safe for us to work on. There was a lot of a lot of mouse residue and whatnot in it. He did the uh, the Thunderbird. So we're gonna go pick up a. Uh, apparently, we're picking up a Hellcat in the city for him today that he needs to get detailed. So that's in here for now. Boxes outside the door. So when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll we'll take you guys for a ride to to town. Show you us loading it up and coming back, and we're gonna take it to Rennie's new shop. Yeah. So you get to see that. Kind of excited to see that. Awesome. So right on. So we'll catch you guys on the ride shortly. Later. At the storage unit with Mr. Steph, the right hand man today. Jeff's back at the shop doing some other stuff. Specially ordered from Dodge. Nice. So, what's going on? This is a 2020 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. I've heard a rumor that the hood was ordered from the uh, dealership owner. And I've heard a rumor that it is one of 50 on the planet. Wow. Of a, child, of a Hellcat, regular Hellcat, non-red eye, to have this hood. So we'll be bringing this thing over to uh, Reborn Auto Detailing out in St. Pierre here and uh, basically get this thing all polished and uh, get it ceramic coated, get it all cleaned up and uh, good for next year. Right on. You betcha. And we get the pleasure of... Uh, Doing the delivery. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, well, we'll She's gonna roll out just a move a couple there. things around here and then we'll uh, get the guy in the back over there into there. We'll be back shortly. Put the warmer on. It's gonna be, uh... That's a nice feather combo, eh?
get ourselves set up at uh, at the other end here okay. while this guy warms up, and then we're gonna get this thing on down this icy lane over to the uh, dryer cement in the front to uh, have some have some traction to get it into the trailer. All right, back in a second. Okay, here we go. This might be interesting. and back in here. Concrete here, so we got traction for uh, getting up the ramp door. All right, in a bit. So Jeff's here now. We're back from the city uh, grabbing that uh, that Hellcat. What what is that thing again exactly? Uh, 2020 Hellcat Challenger. So that he so, said is a really low number. Well, production. yeah, like I can't confirm that, but it's got yeah, it's it's apparently got a rare hood on it, uh, an option code for that car. So uh, we will uh, treat them all the same. So it's going to get uh, get the full treatment and. Uh, get brought back to uh, nicer than uh, what it came out in the showroom as so yes perfect so uh, apparently you're gonna do a little aerobics class here to get back in the car yeah yeah it's a little bit of a tight squeeze in there so <laughs> okay good thing I didn't eat breakfast so Rennie's gonna be providing the entertainment here in the next three or four minutes so yeah. let's get to the car guys all right <laughs> yeah yeah this one's it. Coolest garage door openers ever. How, show us how it's done. Slim down as much as I can. <laughs> we, got, we got grease over here, right? Yeah. Are you going to go through the trunk? Yeah. Seriously? Well, 
You're you're awesome at the out the fifty seven Chevy window for sure. Leave that knife out of your pocket. Yeah, keys. <laughs> Can't open the door in this guy, so this is what we got to do. And he's in. All right. Oh, Jesus, that's uh, that's tight. That's a uh, that, that's a move. All right. All right. Cool. I'm gonna hand this over to Jeff. We're gonna get this thing unstrapped. Either the back first or the front.
far back you want to go? Move her over a little? Yeah. Good times. I wanna say I feel like my car is a little bit louder though. Oh yeah? What yeah, like it seems like the cold start on this one isn't as loud as mine is. Well we need to do a wrap off maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Dave, back to you. Alright. Okay, so this is Rennie's shop, Reborn Auto Detailing. This is his latest uh, project that he's got going on. Amongst we should talk the other one in the one. back. We should talk about this one. Well, let's go talk about it. What year is that? So it is a 63 Imperial. Um, honestly, can't say as I've seen another one. Uh, it's not a common one that uh, I've seen around. So this one I'm going to be uh, doing a, a defect removal on for the paint. Basically taking care of, there's a lot of fish eyes. So, See if we can get that on the camera here. Yeah, between fish eyes and swirls <coughs> along the side here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's... Should be able to see it right up there. So Randy's going to fix all this. Yeah, so between fixing that, polishing it, uh, repainting the blackout inserts, doing some interior work uh we're going to be working in collaboration with uh pegtown uh pegtown customs chris baker yeah so he's coming down tomorrow he's going to be taking a look at some of the interior stuff that's uh out of my wheelhouse to to rebuild certain things so that we're going to get the uh the experts in and uh so yeah between that and doing the engine bay so just really going to be doing a uh a detail on the engine bay just uh you know clean it up make it look right and then uh polishing all the chrome and uh this will be there's a, there's a little bit of that on this thing yeah and just stuff like this like the inserts here just between old wax and the black paint being all uh all faded repaint that as well so but it's got it's got some uh, some fair sized panels, so it, <laughs> it'll be a little bit of a project. Well, what did you have in here? You had that truck in here? Yeah, so I had a 2012 um, Dodge Ram 2500 Mega Cab. So that I was doing a polish and ceramic next to this one, and I think the truck was maybe about eight inches longer than this car. So Jeez. it's. Uh, <laughs> put put the, that into perspective there, uh, people. Yeah. So that's, this is a very, very long car. Yeah. As you can see. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's what we were doing today. Started off with engine building and car, now we're doing car hauling and now you guys get to see Reborn Shop. Yeah. So that'll take us out for the end of the day. I believe so, yeah, I think we're good. What do we usually say? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe, tell all your friends. Thanks and, for the tour. And check out Rennie. He's on Facebook. What's the uh, your page? So look us up under uh, Reborn Auto Detailing Rad. And uh, yeah, give us the, uh, a follow and a like, and uh, you'll be able to check out all the the cool stuff we've got going on here. So always, always something new. Right on. Okay, right, guys. Thanks. Till next time. Later.